Hi, beloved. Bless you all. Blessings, peace, and love to you that is watching me today. I have this beautiful message that I want to share today, guys, right? Yes. You see, in life, guys, you'll be a man or woman watching me today. And you know, you're living your life, right? Yes. And because you're living your life, some people around, you know, thinking to their logical thinking, thinking to their standard of how they live their life that, you know, based upon how your life is, because, you know, you might be a person watching me today and you might be experiencing different challenges. You know, you might be experiencing ups and downs, right? You might be going through trials after trials and tribulation after tribulation. So they're thinking to their mental being that the life that you're living is not up to the world standard of system of things, right? Yes, guys. And because it's not up to their standard of how you are living your personal life, guys, you know, they are making some critical judgment towards you, you know, based on the pace of how you are living your life, the way that your life is moving right now, right? But I want somebody that is watching me right now to understand, beloved, right? That even though you might be a person experiencing different obstacles, different challenges in your personal life, and even though people might be critiquing the pace of how you are living, your life today. I want you to understand, beloved, right? Yes, I want you to get this message today, beloved, right? Yes, that your life is not to be living according to others, but according to how you are to live your life, guys, according to how God wants you to live your life, guys. So even if your person experiencing different challenges in your personal life and your life might not be right, to the normal standard of pace of living, I want you to understand, beloved, right, that you are living your life according to how you are to live your life today, beloved, right, yes, because you see in life, guys, the race is never for the swift, but who can endure it, what I mean by that, well, I'm going to give you an example, right, yes, guys, there's this lady, right? She's not young. She's not old. She is uh, in between 40 going on to 50 years of age. And she have four children, guys, right? Yes. And she was about to run a race and she was up against world champions, guys. And because this lady have four children and, you know, she was of the age of, you know, 40 going on to 50 years of age, you know, to some people that was critiquing her, guys, Right. Yes. They were like, you know, judging her based upon the four children she have and based upon say that she was up against world champions. So they were, you know, looking down on this lady. Right. That this race that she's about to run. Right. That she will never win. Right. Yes. That why is even, you know, she trying to run this race and she end up run this race, guys. And while she was running this race. Right. The world champions was way up ahead of her, way, way up ahead of her. And she was behind and she was still running this race. And everything seems impossible. Right. To everybody eyes, guys. Right. Because the world champion was almost to the finish line and the lady still running the race and she run the race, guys. And she run the race and she pass out the world champion, guys, and she win the race. Right. So same time, God clicked to me and said, Tamari. The race is never for the swift, but who can endure it indeed? So the message is to you that is watching me today. No matter who is way ahead of you, don't focus on that. Continue to run the race. Continue to stay in your own lane. Continue to focus on your journey. Continue to focus on your endeavors. Continue, beloved. To trust your journey with God and know that, beloved, that you will overcome, beloved, right? Yes, all the, even if you're a person listening to me today, watching me today, and you're up against different challenges, different obstacles, different trials and tribulation, different persecution in your personal life, I want you to understand, focus on you, focus on your own pace, focus on your own journey today, beloved, and remember that the race is never for the swift. 
but who can endure it? What I mean by that? Well, I have this wonderful message from God to you, beloved. And today, Bible verse is coming from Ecclesiastics 9, verse 11. And hear what God is saying in Ecclesiastics 9, verse 11 to you that is watching me today. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chances happen to them all. So what this powerful scriptures of Ecclesiastics 9 verse 11 is saying to you as a man, you as a woman, it is saying, beloved, right, that even though, right, you might not be the smartest man, you might not be the smartest woman that is watching me right now, that even though you are not the strongest man, the strongest woman that is watching me right now, even though you might not be the most knowledgeable man, the most knowledgeable woman watching me today, right? Even though you might be a man or woman watching me today and you're not the best looking, right? Yes, I want you to understand, beloved, right? Yes, by you trusting God, by you relying on God, by you depending on God, guys, right? And continue to take action in one's life. God will extend his grace and his mercy towards you for you to succeed indeed. So even if you're a person listening to me today and you're not the most, right? Yes, best looking man, best looking woman to, you know, the naked eye. I want you to understand, right? Yes, by you trusting God and depending on God and continue to focus on your endeavors, to continue to focus on oneself, God will make you succeed God will make you win, guys. So even if you're a person and you're not smart, you're not knowledgeable, you're not strong enough, I want you to understand by you depending on God, guys, and trusting God with your life path, with your life journey, you will succeed. God will make you win, guys, right? Yes. So I want somebody that is watching me right to understand that the race is never for the swift, but who can endure it indeed? Read Ecclesiastics 9, verse 11. Meditate on that scripture and apply it in one's life. A great scripture to remind us, guys, that even if you're a person listening to me today, watching me today, and you're not the most smartest person, you're not the most strongest individual, you're not the most knowledgeable person, you're not the most, right, yes, good-looking man, good-looking woman, right, to the natural eye. Let me tell you, guys, by you trusting God, let me tell you, by you continue to take action in your own life, beloved, by you focusing on your own path, on your own journey, you will have a successful story, beloved, right? Yes. So focus on you today, right? Yes. And no matter who is trying to critique your pace of living, understand, beloved, that your walk of life, your journey, right, is for you and not somebody else. So focus on you, beloved, right? Yes, and continue to take action in one's life. And remember, guys, that the race is never for the swift, but who can endure it indeed? Have a wonderful and a blessed day today. Walk good. Thank you.